of that very small dot in the middle of the screen, that is a view from Dragon looking at the International Space Station. And back inside the Dragon capsule, we have everyone in their suits and seats. Looks like they are uh, fully suiting up now, putting those gloves on, as well as we have a view of those crew access panels, those displays in front of them, pilot and the commander there in the center. And Dragon SpaceX on the big loop. We had a nominal mid-course correction, and the trajectory has converged on waypoint zero. Expect waypoint zero arrival at 1217 Zulu. Dragon copy all and copy one two one seven. And we did see views of the International Space Station before, which looked like a tiny little dot, and now we are getting so close that you can really see uh, the International Space Station there, and that's on your left-hand screen. And looking from the International Space Station to Dragon on your right-hand screen, getting a really cool view of Dragon. And right now on the International Space Station, we have seven crew members. So we are going to have 11 people living and working on the orbiting laboratory for the next several days. And on your screen is a pretty cool view from the International Space Station looking at Dragon. You could see the nose cone deployed. Um, and you can also see some of the thrusters. Um, they're using the Draco thrusters to maneuver Dragon towards the International Space Station. You can see Earth in the background. Yeah, right now they <laughs> are flying over Saskatchewan. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop. Approach zero has started and the trajectory has converged on waypoint one. Expect arrival at waypoint one around 1259er UTC. And these views are really awesome. Seeing Earth in the background looking almost so crisp there. I know. <laughs> this is another view from the International Space Station. You can see one of the robotic arms on the left and Close to center of your screen, that is Dragon. And that robotic arm is attached to the Japan Exposed facility. So we are able to uh, put some of our experiments outside in the vacuum of space. And there you can see on your screen, this is a view from Dragon approaching the International Space Station. You can see how close it is. You can begin to see those details on the station. And looking straight ahead in the center of your screen um, was the International uh, Docking Adapter. And this view from inside Dragon Endurance itself. So these are our uh, four crew members. You can only see the commander and pilot right now, Jasmine McBelly and Andreas Mogensen, just monitoring the approach on those crew display panels. Again, they are not making commands at this point. Um, additionally, at that two meter, uh, two meters away from the space station, we hear the chop call, at which point they should not send any commands. Right now, we are at 23 meters from the space station, continuing to close in on that zenith port of node two. Station, Houston on the big loop. Dragon is on final approach and is go for docking. Monitor for steps five and six in one decimal one zero two Dragon approach and retreat monitoring. It's such a cool view. It almost feels like we're on Dragon approaching the International Space Station. <laughs> and contact confirmed, 6.16 a.m. Pacific. And this is a view from outside the International Space Station of Crew Dragon Endurance dock to the orbital outpost. And we did hear that call out that the hatch was open at 9.58 a.m. Central. And we are getting views back inside Crew Dragon Endurance of Crew 7. First time since they've docked to the International Space Station. Great to see them on board. And first through the hatch is the commander of Crew 7, Jasmine Mogbelli, her first time on board the International Space Station. Next up, we have Andy Mogensen, ESA astronaut. This is his second space flight. And coming through the hatch now is JAXA astronaut Satoshi Furukawa. And next through the hatch is Konstantin Borisov of Roscosmos, his first time on board the International Space Station as well. And with that, Crew 7 is successfully on board the International Space Station, their home for the next six months. Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event?
Houston, this is Station. We are ready for the event. Station, please begin your welcoming remarks. Okay, on behalf of Expedition 69, welcome to the ISS, and it is an honor to have Crew 7 with us. Congratulations to the NASA and SpaceX teams. Amazing job once again on successfully and flawlessly getting our crewmates up here to us. So thank you so much. All right, welcome to the team and uh, great words. Thank you so much once again to the NASA team, the SpaceX team, and to all the agencies. Uh, what an amazing crew. Uh, we look forward to the next few months, and we're going to have a lot of fun together.